If you own a business in this day and age, you must know how important it is to appear on Google and Google Maps. In March this year, Google stated that local business websites get 2 billion visits every single month. That is a lot of traffic. And today we're going to show you how you can get your business listed on Google Maps and start capturing some of that traffic. So what are we going to see today? We're going to see three different scenarios of how you can get on Google My Business. The first scenario is if you have a brand new business, which is like less than six months old. The second scenario is if you have already a listing, but is unclaimed. So we'll show you how to claim it. And the third scenario is if you have a listing and is claimed, but you forgot your password or is in someone else's hands. So we're going to solve all these problems. When a query performed on Google implies local results should be shown, the search engine populates a map pack of three local results. The map pack has many other names like local pack or Google three pack. Or if you search for a specific local business, information about that business is shown in the right panel. The data is sourced from Google My Business. So if you have a business that caters to local needs, chances are you can get listed on Google My Business. And as you have seen in the intro, that can bring you a ton of traffic. So as I was mentioning before, today we will see three scenarios of how you can get listed on Google My Business. And I'll be putting timestamps in the description, so feel free to skip to whatever section you feel it's the most valuable for you. So scenario number one, you have a new business that is less than six months old. Step one is to go on Google My Business homepage and click on the Manage Now button. Then you'll be asked to sign in to a Gmail account that you own. This is extremely important. You have to remember which Google account you use to log in. That account is going to be the primary owner of this listing. Once you have signed in, you'll get taken to a page like the one below. Click on the Get Started button. Now you can start typing in the name of your business. Google My Business will attempt to locate a listing, but since your business is absolutely brand new, you likely don't have one yet. When you spot the option to create a new business with this name, click it and then click on next. Now we need to choose a business category that matches your business. For our example, coffee shops are the best matching category. And if there are multiple categories that match your business, you'll be able to add additional categories after your listing has been verified. Once you've chosen your category, you can click on next. Now, this next move depends a lot on what type of business you operate. If your business is a brick and mortar, then the answer is yes. But if you're a service provider, you go to your customers and don't have a physical storefront with signage, then you will select no. If you're a service provider and have a physical storefront with signage, then choose yes. Once you've made this choice, you can click on next. Now you can enter your address, then click next if you answer yes in the previous step. If you just know in the previous step, it will be just asked to enter your service area. Once finished, you again click on next. If you're displaying an address, you might be asked to point to the exact spot where your business is located. Uh, once finished, again click on next. If you're not showing your address, you will be asked to provide your business phone number and website. If you are showing your address, you will be asked also if you serve a customer outside of your location. And if you are not showing your address, you'll be asked if you want to get updates and recommendations from Google. Choose your answer, then click on next. If you're showing your address, you'll be asked to add your phone number and website. If you're not showing your address, you can skip to step 10. And once you've added your website address and phone number, you can click on next. Now we're at step 11, so no one gets lost. Time to finish and start the verification process. You can select finish. If you are showing your address, you'll be prompted to verify by postcard with an option to add a contact name. If you're hiding your address, you'll be prompted to add an address for verification purposes. Your address will not be shown, but it is needed to verify your business. So this was all for scenario number one. So if you have a brand new business and if you got lost with the steps, no worries. I'll be putting everything in the timestamp so you can follow through again and again and again and again. Now let's move to scenario number two, which is if you have a listing existing, but it's not claimed. If you have a business that has been around for more than six months, in fact, there is a very high chance you might already have a listing in Google My Business that was automatically created. Go to Google Maps and perform a search for your business name. If a listing shows up and you see claim this business, then claim it. 
If you see your listing and there's a label that says manage this listing, then you can head directly to scenario 3. If you have the option to claim the listing, you'll be probably asked to verify that the information is up to date, so you have to go through the verification process. And finally, scenario number 3. There is a listing, but it's already claimed. How does that happen if you didn't do it? Well, it's actually pretty common and simple. A former employee was managing it and you don't have access to that Google account anymore, or it's a different account than the one you want it to be, or it's an agency that was managing. It doesn't matter. Whatever the reason is, here's how you get it back. Go to Google and perform a search for your business. Within the panel, you'll see suggest and edit own this business. Select own this business. Google will then show the first two characters of the email address that owns the listing. Sometimes this may spark your memory with the email address that you used years ago to claim the listing, but if you do not know the email address, click on Request Access button. More often than not, you're going to check the box to share your info with the current owners and managers of the listing. For a level of access, choose Ownership. After that, you can provide your name and phone number and then submit. After you submit the form, the current owner of the listing will get an email to ask them if the request is valid. And you will also get a confirmation email that you should absolutely keep. The current owner of the business has three days to answer to your request. And you can, of course, check the status of this request on your confirmation email, the one that I told you to keep a few seconds ago. If your request is approved, you'll get another confirmation email that, again, I suggest you keep and then you can start managing your profile. You're free to go. If your request is denied, you're going to have to contact Google My Business Support via the Help Center. But what happens if the owner, the current owner, doesn't answer within the three days? Well, then you'll get the option to claim that business. And if you want to know how to do it, you should go to Scenario 2. And once you get access to the listing, the first thing you will want to do is make sure that anyone who should have access to the listing does. Since you are now the primary owner of the listing, you can add or remove users from having access. And how can we, we help you besides teaching you how to claim your business? Well, it's great that you ask because actually we have a crazy great tool, which is called listing management that guess what? helps you to manage your listings. The listing management tool, in fact, is a very simple solution for local SEO that we created in collaboration with Yext. Basically, the tool just makes it super easy to distribute your business data automatically to the most authoritative directories. We have more than 80s just for the US and 40 plus for other countries. And it can even make it voice search ready with automatic distribution of the information to Amazon Alexa, Apple, Bing, and Google. With the listing management tool, you can edit the information in one single place and get consistent and correct business data in all directories at once. It saves you a ton of time. Also, you can ensure the maximum visibility for your business by keeping your listings free of malicious duplicates, monitoring the reviews and working with user suggestions. You can approve them or disapprove them directly from the tool, in fact. And finally, you can also follow the recommendation to achieve better local results. So there you have it. I really hope that with this video, you managed to solve some of your Google My Business problems. And if you liked the video, please put the like, subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell so that you can stay tuned with all the upcoming content that trust me is going to be crazy good. And please remember to check the description. You're going to find all the steps we took in the video there, plus some additional resources on local SEO and Google My Business. Anything you need on local SEO and whatever, it's right there. So please check it. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Ciao.